rain created several problems for folks across Metro Detroit, from street flooding to basement flooding. For morning commuters, flash floods cause problems on major freeways and busy roads. The area near Milwaukee and Grand River looked like an actual river. Check out this ambulance stuck in the water at Shane and Alexander on Detroit's east side. Next to it, a man sits on the hood of this pickup truck, surrounded by flooding. It wasn't just highways. Residential roads left people trapped. Take McKay Street near 8 Mile. It's almost like a river, you ask me. Part of the problem is debris clogging catch basins. They've been sitting here for a long time. You're playing it safe because you see water on the road and you definitely don't want to go through it. That's right. This is not the only street. It's a lot of streets like this. And if it wasn't commuting issues, the rain caused problems in many homeowners' basements. I saw things floating in the basement. Deborah Pruitt has lived in this home for more than 30 years. Her basement flooded once during the August 2014 storms, but this year her basement experienced issues three times. July, August, September, that I've had to replace central air, get, I mean, all that re bought fixed again. Deborah is a retired teacher and is on a fixed income. She's in contact with the city about her issues. They sent someone out to inspect. And each time they said, it's the sewer line. I don't want to move out of Detroit, but the, the services stink. If you want to report street flooding or sewage backup, you can by using the app Improve Detroit or calling the city directly. And if you're a Detroit Water and Sewerage Department customer experiencing a sewage backup, you can file a claim online. All that information is on our website at WXYZ.com. In Detroit, Simon Chowdhury for the Now Detroit. Simon, thank you. And we're